Hi everyone. Um, Mum and I just went out to get some groceries and we're going to show you what we got. Alright, so we're just going to walk you through what we bought today and um, at the end we'll tell you what we spent. Okay, so let me explain how I grocery shop. I don't shop um, just for the food for that week. I actually stockpile, so I tend to buy up uh, whatever we need uh, to make meals for that week to add to our own supplies or if I have something that I find that's on special or half price or it's a great bargain then I will buy up on that product and um, we will stockpile it. So what we have on the table here is um, there are certain meals that we are going to make this week so we bought certain ingredients to go with them and the rest of it is basically we are just filling the cupboards back up to what fits in yeah. the in the pantry. Okay, so we started off with a little bit of fruit and veg here. It's certainly not enough to get us through the whole week, but we bought a bag of potatoes, two bags of carrots. We like the gala apples, and these store really well in the fridge, so they're great for school lunches. We bought some mushrooms because we are going to make a spaghetti bolognese this week, so the mushrooms will be chopped up and put into the spaghetti bolognese sauce. We've got some grapes here, which are really good for school lunches. And great for snacks, like for us, because <laughs> they're yummy. <laughs> We've got a few different types of salad bag. I think we were just going to do these with some barbecued sausages. And this bag of salad will go onto some wraps with some cold ham. A bag of green beans that we can put with a meal. Yep, so the beans we're going to use tonight so for our spaghetti bolognese, uh, we've got some spaghetti and of course we need quite a bit of that and then we've also just bought a home brand pasta sauce to add to it. Now what we will add is the mushrooms, we'll probably add an extra can of um, tomatoes as well just, just to plump it up a little bit, it makes it go around further. So we've got some little bread rolls here, some little dinner rolls. These can be frozen and pulled out and cooked as well. So these are great to keep in the freezer. Um, these we freeze and we use them in school lunches. So we've got some cans of corn. We were also thinking about doing some apricot chicken this week. So we've, we've got two tins of apricot nectar. To go with that. We have a few different types of spreads that we like to put on sandwiches um, for a lunch in school lunches or just here at home. Gosh, how many people actually eat fish paste? Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of us really really love this, some of us not so much. I don't know, let me know in the comments, do you eat fish paste? I think it's lovely. <laughs> Especially on like Really fresh, soft bakery bread. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's get some cream cheese. And so this week we're also going to be making some hot dogs. So we've got some home brand mustard. And we've got some gravy powder that we can put with a meal. So that'll probably go with the meal that we're going to use the beans with. Okay, so we don't all actually ones. <laughs> use a lot of these, but they're a nice little thing for mum to have every See? now and then. See? Decaf. Mm -hmm. They're mine. <laughs> and, and sometimes they're the for the teenagers. <laughs> okay, we've got some grated cheese for when we have the hot dogs. And we were going to try out a new recipe this week, which called for us to have some... Parmesan. parmesan. We don't normally eat parmesan at all. In fact, I don't even know whether you kids have even tried parmesan cheese, but we thought, well, it's part of this recipe, which we will um, hopefully vlog for you, and you will be able to see that, see how the kids like it. But yes, yeah, so this is a bit, a bit of something new for us to be buying. Um, we usually buy these bigger tubs of 
yogurt for an afternoon tea after school. They're really good. We'll pop them with some fruit. Some fruit. Yeah. With that, again for our recipe during the week, we're going to need some thickened cream. Some thickened cream. And looky, 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 looky here. What have we got? Dad's green, green milk. milk. <laughs> Every shop. <laughs> So we've got some yogurts here for school lunches. So just little tubs of yogurts and some chocolate mousse because that's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> we've got some eggs here. So we've got six dozen eggs. Okay, so here we've got some dips, a leg of ham, and our milk that we bought this shop. Normally we would use up to 50 litres of milk per week and we're trying to pull back on that a little bit just just for budget's sake um, so this is six three litre bottles so we're trying to get by with two lots of those throughout the week so trying to just buy 12 three litre bottles per week and make that last so we were talking about doing an apricot chicken this week so we've bought some drumsticks from the deli we've got three packs here of 10 drumsticks each and there would be enough drumsticks here to do a full meal and then have a couple of spares so we will pop those into a container and freeze those for maybe teenagers lunches um, or hubby's lunch now we're just going to go and pop these straight into the fridge and we'll be back okay so these get used with um, for the school lunches on wraps or on sandwiches and we usually put some salad bags or some che sliced cheese with them. And they're really yummy to have in lunches. Now we've bought some shortcut bacon. Um, it's cheaper to buy it like this and then dice it up yourself. We're going to need this for one of the recipes that we're doing this week. So it'll take a little bit of time to dice it up, but you can certainly save some money by buying it complete and <laughs> not just diced. And as with every shop, loo paper, right? And then we always keep a couple of 10 litre containers of water in the house. You never know when you're going to need those. Speaking of doing hot dogs this week, bread rolls, hot dog rolls. Then we have our fresh sandwich bread that we use in lunches as well. And this stuff is always really nice and soft and it's good for the kids. So we bought some more cereal. We've got some rice pops. We've got some cocoa puffs. This muesli is really yummy and it was half price. So we bought two boxes. Um, they used to make a product like this years ago that the kids really liked in their lunch boxes. So we thought we'd grab a couple of boxes of these and the kids can actually take them as their snack at school. And this is the same, we've never tried these before, but they look like they might be really good in a school lunchbox as well, just for something different, other than the standard biscuit or cake in, in the lunchbox, it might be fun to have something like this. So we're just going to give it a try and see if the kids like it. All right, so we bought some lemonade and we bought some lemon flavored soft drink. Now this, folks, looks like a heck of a lot of biscuits. And yeah. it is. <laughs> um, but this amount of biscuits usually lasts over a very long time. And we have a crate in our pantry that we fill with biscuits and they last a long time in there. So we can just pull them out for an afternoon tea and they're really handy to have. Okay, so we've got some cooking oil and some spray oil that we use. Every time we make a meal, we've got some, today we've got some lemon cordial and some orange cordial, orange cordial today. So again, kids like to have this 
to drink occasionally. Mainly we just drink water or the milk, but um, it's nice to have a cordial. We've got some mayo that we can put on the sandwiches for school or the ranch dressing. And it's good to have other dressings on hand too, that if people don't like the dressings in the bagged salads, um, you can change it out for these. We've got sultanas as another little snack for the kids at school because we like to have a variety of different snacks for school. And we've got a bag Some of sugar, sugar <laughs> that lasts a long, a long time. time. These were half price also, so the kids really like to have these with a bit of butter. Some have them with butter and Vegemite. Vegemite. Okay, so these we're going to have tomorrow for our morning tea. Which is some yummy Anzac biscuits. Quite the favourite round here. Yeah. <laughs> and these lamington sponge rolls we like to freeze for an afternoon tea or a morning tea on a weekend. And they're really good to have in the freezer too. And they're really yummy if you actually cut them up while they're still frozen and eat them. All the cream inside them stays frozen. Which yeah. is delicious. <laughs> it's really nice. And look, we found some more fruit. Lots and lots of bananas. And again, this just will not last very long. Our kids love fruit. So, gosh, one, one and a half, two sittings worth of bananas here. Won't last long. We'll have to go back in a couple of days and buy some more. So we've bought some hair scrunchies for the girls. Bottle of... Pain relief, paracetamol, always good and handy to have in the house. And then there's items like this. So this is wax, so we use this occasionally. And when you find a product like this that you use, that you can store, and if you can buy it at half price, too good a bargain to miss. So I bought three, three boxes while it's at half price, and they can just be stored away and used whenever is necessary. So. That's the way you save money, folks, is by looking out for your sales and stocking up when you can. There is a lot to be said about stockpiling um, products, that, especially products that can be stored away. Um, you can certainly save a lot of money that way. All right. So mum and I just spent a grand total of $451.48. Not bad. <laughs> Fill two trolleys worth and uh, two tables worth here, so that's yeah. not too bad. And now, a fun job. Let's get it put away. It's a very hot day here, so we've got a few cold items, so we want to get them into our fridges and freezers. We might find some more kids to come and help us put them away. Sounds good. Okay, so till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.